as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith. This is to say 144, call Allah Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Um, this is a hard pill to swallow, but I'm going to get a scripture that's one of my favorites, man, because it, it makes the chastening and the rebuking all worth it, especially if you're going to overcome, you know, and, um, you know, so the scriptures say as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, be zealous, therefore, and repent. So, you know, when you, when the Lord putting you through whatever he's putting you through, you know, you got to be mindful to the best of your ability, take it cheerfully. You know, the scripture says, you know, when you're going through it, this um Hebrews 12 and 10, you know, that chastening is not joyous, but grievous, when we, especially when we're going through it. So at the time, you know, you ain't really thinking about rejoicing, but once you, you know, settle your spirit down, you know, sit back and reflect, then, you know, the best thing you can do is just be like, you know, I'm going to bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him because we ain't none of us perfect. And, you know, um, I was, matter of fact, I want to go a couple ways with this video, though, but I ain't, I ain't expect that um, Revelation 3 and 19 was going to hit me like this, you know, because I'm going to read 20 anyway, but to say, behold, I stand at the door and knock if any man hear my voice and open the door i will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me and that's the knowledge you know that's the knowledge um when you ask the lord with faith he will deliver man and and here's the thing when a man of the lord is telling you about what the Lord have done for him. You have to understand that. You don't get paid for lying. I just, I just, something in my spirit made me wanted to say that because like. You have to understand when you go to Philippians 4 and 6. And it say, you know, be careful for nothing. But pray Matter of fact, let's get there real quick, man. I I, I got to come back to this. This I could tell this video going to be all over the place, but that's how the spirit roll. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, letting your requests be no, made known to the Most High. So you see the beginning of that scripture it said, be careful for nothing. So just because you pray, don't expect all oh, that the Lord is going to pop up like he's your personal genie, you know. And sometimes, you know, it, it, it's a little vexing, but that is the rebuking and the chastening because I'm pretty sure I can speak for all men of the Lord. When you're going through something, you're asking the Lord to make it not go through it no more. All right. But you have to go through something. That's just part of this truth. That's part of the straight gate. You know, um, but so I'm going to stick with these two scriptures and I'm going to get precepts that comes to my mind. So with, um, Revelation three and 19, you know, as many as I love, I rebuke and chastise, be, be zealous, therefore, and repent. Now, one of my favorites, this is well, this is why it, it makes it worth it, man. This is why we get chastening. It say, for this cause, many are weak, sickly among you, and many sleep. All right? And that's the, that's the condition of our people. And then the ones, you know, you know, you have ones who died. You know, that's why when you go to Revelation, that's talking about the sleep. When you go to Revelation 6 and 9, I want to say, talks about how the souls complain continually to the Lord, saying, when you're going to basically revenge our souls. Then you got the weak and sickly among you. That's us. Most men that I know in the truth have some type of ailment with their body. 
All right. And then this flesh is an affirmity, which affirmities means weakness. All right. Because this flesh is um, it's weak, period. You know, so it's a lot of weak and sickly among you. But it's all worthy because the Lord said that he's going to give us a new body. All right. It's like everything that we're going through right now, the Lord is going to change that. And that's what that's why we got something to look forward to. And to say, for if we judge ourselves, we we should not be judged. So that means that if you actually examine yourself and realize that you ain't shit and realize that you your only way is your how will boss me how shy and you can't save yourself. That's what you call having a broken and contrite spirit. Psalms 51 and 17 said that's the, that's the sacrifices of the Lord is having a broken and contrite heart and spirit. So if we for if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. So the Lord delights in that to realize your, you know, um, imperfections, you know, to realize that you ain't shit and that you need me. The, 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 um, the um, scripture that I always quote, Romans 8 and 20. Because we was made subject to vanity, not willingly. You have to understand that. So what is the point of being proud? But this is the point where it comes to, that's why the chastening is so worthy. And it say, but when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord. That we should not be condemned with the world. That's why it's beautiful to be chastened of the Lord. All right? Because being chastened of the Lord... You're going to escape being chastened with the world. See, the Lord said he had picked you out of the world. Remember that, John 15, he had picked you out of the world. Man, I always, I, man, I'm telling you, like, these are the type of scriptures that get you through when you're going through some shit, man. Now I'm going to go to 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and it will sit with him and he with me. And that's beautiful because guess what? We need wisdom and knowledge and stability, as I say in Isaiah 33 and 6. Wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our times. That's what we're going to need in these times when Jacob's trouble come. All right. When they actually, when the devil do come down with great wrath and he start bringing the military into your neighborhoods and they trying to force the vaccine, um, the, the thing on you. All right. That's when it's going to get real. But see, if you don't have the wisdom and knowledge and the stability, which is the wisdom and knowledge in the fear of the Lord, you will succumb to it. All right. Now from there. Oops. The same thing was said in um, Matthew 7. But it goes more into it. It says, ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find and it shall be opened unto you. The reason that, you know, which I, I thank the Lord every day. The reason that I love these scriptures, man, because when you live it, it, it have more, you know, power to them. I literally seek for the truth, and we all have. Every brother that I ever talk to, we kind of have the same path. Like I said um, a couple of videos ago, most men was watching the Illuminati videos. See, I was in church heavy, you know, so I was a bona fide Jesus freak, you know, so I've always been a spiritual person. But all, all it takes for me one day, which was the spirit, what color was Jesus? I typed that in to the YouTube one day and then it just took me into a whole bunch of avenues and guess what I ended up to Hebrew is like videos uh started off with ISU PK did, did, didn't sit right with my spirit IUIC didn't sit right with my spirit GMS as the scripture says in John 10 and 27 they say when my sheep hear my voice they know me and follow me all right so I heard the voice and I never turned back this is the truth, man. But that's that's why the uh, Matthew 7 and 7 is so relevant. It say, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened to you. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, and he, 
And he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be open. And I'm going to end it on this one. So when you do seek the Lord, this is what happens. Say, all that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. So when you seek the Lord and you come to him wholeheartedly in truth and sincerity, because he know all men, he know who is his. You can't you can't um pull the wool over his eyes like you can do men. All right. He know who is his. He know who really believe in him. First of all, you was chosen from the foundation of the world. Ephesians 1 and 4, Ephesians 1 and 11, 2 Timothy 1 and 9. All right. So he said, if you come to him, he will no wise cast you out, man. And that's beautiful to know. All right. Because we coming into the times where you're going to need your how about you, how shy. So hopefully this video was edifying and shalom.